Have you heard the expression, travel is about those you meet along the way? To be honest, in our opinion, this couldn't be more true. Some of our best experiences have been due to the people we have met. From villages in Azerbaijan to the dancing ladies in Kiev, Uzbekistan. But this trip in particular, deep in the Kazakh wilderness, was a particularly special experience. Life doesn't throw these sort of moments at you too often, but when they come along, you want to cherish them forever. And we are over the moon that not only we got to experience such a special trip, but also that we get to share this one and this group of incredible people with you. So, let's get into it. Good evening from Almaty. The time is nine o'clock in the evening and we've actually packed a couple of bags and we're heading across town and then we're heading out of town towards the Chinese border and to the wild east of Kazakhstan. Здравствуйте. Куда ты? We just arrived in the village of Saty and we're gonna stay here for the next couple of nights. And uh, we're staying in the guest house. We managed to get a private room just for us, but there are rooms also for just boys and girls separate. And I'm guessing it's because we're married. Yeah. Yeah. But anyway, it's three in the morning and we need to get up about seven, so. I think we'll catch you then. Здравствуйте. Красиво, здрасте. Доброе утро. Доброе, доброе. Аля, Эльдос. Так, лахач. Так, давайте в ближе к заде. Почему? Чтобы видов все поснимали. How many years do you think it's been running this room? Three or four. <laughs> Today is the first of two days exploring the wild southeast corner of Kazakhstan. We took a tour from Almaty with a group of 16 other people from all over the world, from Kazakhstan to Switzerland and Denmark to Mexico. Our first stop is one of Central Asia's most incredible natural wonders, but to get up there, it's going to be a bumpy ride.
we walking again? I am still on Like Soviet, Turkish. After another half an hour on food, where we got to know our group better, we arrived here. Good morning. We started this day with a hell of a walk, but it was 100% worth it. This is Lake Kaindi and it's absolutely gorgeous. Apparently, as the sun rises, the lake's going to look completely different as well. The water's going to change colors. Can't wait to see that. That is one of the most fascinating places I think we've ever seen. Haven't really come across anything like that anywhere in the world. If you know of anywhere like that, send us pictures, tell us the locations. <laughs> Be eager to know. <laughs> the water is so clear. I thought it was a lot bigger as well for some reason, I don't know why. It's so interesting, isn't it? Yeah, your perspective, but you form an opinion of a place. Yeah. The tree is just coming out of the water, it's incredible. <laughs> the air is so clear, fresh, beautiful. What a place. What a place, man. <laughs> you can only see stuff on pictures, like we've seen a lot of pictures of this lake. And obviously, as always, like pictures are over edited as hell, so the water looks bright blue, yeah. but it's slightly greener when you're in real life. But still, <coughs> it is absolutely incredible. It's so, so clear. There's signs everywhere saying no swimming, otherwise, I'd have probably gone for a paddle. <laughs> to I, be agree. I guess if you, the thing is, if you go for a paddle, I guess maybe you, you're going to start mixing up all the water oh, yeah, and then it won't be good. so clear. Perhaps that's really why. destroyed. Yeah. 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 So we'll cut that bit out. I would never do that. <laughs> I still would. <laughs> And peaceful. If you imagine that, none of us are here. Going. None of us here and shouting. <laughs> Our guardian Lick was just explaining to us that this lake is actually translates as birches, like birch tree, but everyone assumes that there are birch trees in the water now, but actually no, there are pine trees actually there. And uh, this lake was only formed about 100 years ago and it was a river before so there was a massive earthquake there was actually a massive tragedy that happened around this area around this region because the mountains are quite new so they're kind of moving all the time and uh, natural disasters occurring sometimes and so there was a river there but it was kind of blocked so it formed a lake but apparently she said as well that it's constantly drying off apparently the water's were a lot higher and we were joking about swimming in there. She said the waters, uh, the depth of it is 25 meters and the waters are extremely cold. So if you get in the water, you will have cramps. I think that's what they call it. Hypothermia. Hypothermia, yeah. where you get cramps. And basically she said that um, not so long ago, literally a couple of months, a student decided to take a swim there and didn't survive basically. So that's why you can't swim it, whether in this lake or the next one that we're going to. Which is a shame because I bought my swimming costume. <laughs> I bought my best mankini. Oh my god. I think you just should. I think I'll just put it on right just to here. show everyone, yeah. yeah. A nipple each side. That would be amazing. <laughs> <laughs> so the tour company we're with, as we said just down below, so far has been absolutely incredible to be honest. And they're called Step Spirit. And we're not this isn't a sponsored thing or anything like that. Just thought I'd say because if you're ever in Almaty, 
Like, I think book a tour with them. It's been great. And it's in two languages as well. It's in both Russian and English. So, yeah, I, I think so far, it's probably one of the best tour companies we've ever been, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, my God. <laughs> so I don't know if you can see on the camera down there. But we got here quite early, and now, about half an hour later, there is a ton of people down there. There's got to be at least 100. That is mental. I think we came just at the right time. We came at the right time and we left at the right time. Yeah, yeah, that's the most thing, yeah. It's the main thing. I'm gonna I'm gonna feel it with my hands at least. <laughs> Follow me. Yeah. No? Oh, my Jesus. Oh. You going in? No. <laughs> <laughs> I'm okay. <laughs> they are. As we headed down by the river, we got chatting with some of the other people in our group, learning about each other's lives in their respective countries and sharing stories from their travels. After hanging out down by the water for a little while, we headed back uphill to our trusty Soviet bus. Right, we've got out to get back in again. <laughs> A quick vehicle change back into our minibus and we headed off to stop number two, Kolsai Mountain Lakes. Сейчас мы идем на самое доступное первое озеро. Там есть лодки, там есть лошади, там лошади сами к вам подходят, дяденьки. Сейчас мы идем кушать, там 93-й дом, я сейчас сразу покажу, туда пойдем. Да, и потом все. У нас свободное время. Что хотите, то и делать. Пойдемте. Пойдемте кушать. Is there any better moment to any day than when someone says it's lunchtime? I'm not sure that feeling could be matched. I was just about to say lunch, but I thought I'm going to ruin something really deep here. <laughs> no, 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 no. This is the pinnacle of the tour. We're going to eat lunch in a lurk. In a lurk? In We're going to eat lunch in a lurk and a yurt. And a bit alert. <laughs> yeah, hopefully. <laughs> Just stick your head in there. Proper village life. I know. Drink, drinking out of a milk carton into a saucepan. Good appetit, everyone. So right now we're actually heading down the hill from where we had lunch to Kolsai Lake, which is the other really famous lake here in this region of Kazakhstan and yeah we're about to see but even from the pictures we've seen it looks insanely beautiful <laughs> Oh, 
close, isn't it? It's a real shame we can't swim. <laughs> it's a real shame that swimming here can literally kill you. It kind of reminds you of Bohinj in Slovenia. It's got the vibe. Although it does seem that half of Kazakhstan's come here today. Oh, yeah. We're <laughs> so busy. It's probably like that all the time. It's not that. Maybe. Yeah, yeah. So here in the Kazakh countryside, there's two main things you need to survive. The first one is horses, and the second one is building homes. And this place is set up for survival. I feel safer already. <laughs> Chicken, please. Можно сфотить? Класс! Спасибо! Once we got back to the guest house, we relaxed a little before the evening activities. Cozy. It looks so different during the day. <gasps> they changed the, the curtains. Did they? I don't know. Seems like it. Maybe it's just because of the different light. See all the flowers. Oh, <gasps> there is apple tree. <gasps> oh my God! Look. They are massive. And uh, I'm going to ask them for an apple. Do you think it's rude? No. Say you're an apple connoisseur and you can't come to Alma Ata without trying oh, the Alma oh. from Alma Ata. <laughs> <laughs> I literally have apples with me though. I'm going to ask. Have they got a lot on there? Yeah. Ask. She can only say no. Fuck off. True. In the back. So we got dinner at six o'clock and the time now is half five. So we're gonna quickly run to the shop here in the village and for the next half hour, have a look around, see what we can see. So this? Uh huh. Da. Здравствуйте. 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 It's so beautiful. Thanks. Oh, it's literally here again. Yeah. I, was, I was so ready to walk somewhere fast. <laughs> right here. No, this is the high street. They've got two shops next to each other. Здравствуйте. Здравствуйте.
Здравствуйте. Литровый сюда. Извините, а у вас воду только литровый, да? А у вас воду только литровые, да, бутылки? Воду. Воду. Только литровый. Не побольше. Нет? Ну хорошо. Давайте литровый тогда. Спасибо. Спасибо. It's amazing that uh, earlier our guide was telling us that uh, literally everyone in this village is working in this tourist industry, whether they have their own guest house or they work on the lakes and like renting their boats out. It's actually amazing because she said that basically percentage of unemployment here is zero. So everyone's got a job, which is pretty amazing. Also, the, the work here is not too seasonal. She was saying that people in the winter also can rent out guest houses because people still come here in the winter yeah. to skate on the lakes and to see them with snow and everything. And yeah, I think it's brilliant, isn't it? For the local economy, it's amazing. And you can also hire yurts here. As we were on the way to the yake, so on the many. way to the yake, <laughs> on the way to the lake, yake. <laughs> and, the, and the yake and the lake, there was yurts everywhere. And yeah, I bet that's so cozy. I mean, the guest house 100%. is cozy enough, a hundred percent. Definitely. Вам что-нибудь помочь? It smells so good. No, no, no. Uh, uh, so sex, sex for marriage, I guess. Uh, uh, there needs there to be some female witnesses or six female witnesses, and they need to be able to. Yes, to bring like witnesses, and they need to be able to. We slept so well last night and unfortunately this morning we have to leave this lovely guest house. Don't really want to but we're going to see some gorgeous places so better head out otherwise I think they're going to leave without us. <laughs> After hastily leaving the village of Sati in the Alatu mountains, we headed out onto the steppes and the scenery changed completely. We were left in awe from the variety of landscapes in southeast Kazakhstan over such a small area. If the first day was all about lakes, the second is all about canyons and we had three to visit, starting here at Black Canyon. So, despite only driving an hour, the temperatures here are completely different. So, after 20 minutes of baking in the sun, we had to move on.
so today was obviously the day of the canyons and this is the third canyon already and this is the main one this is the one we all wanted to see this is Charing Canyon and we're going into the Valley of Castles I think it's called and yeah this is like the little brother of the Grand Canyon apparently and uh, yeah in case you didn't realize it's bloody hot <laughs> So we've got these out and just like Kyrgyzstan last year on Isikul, these might be going over the head later. <laughs> so she was telling us there are mices, well cute mice is here, and I said, uh, I asked if uh, there are any snakes around and she said yes. And all of them are poisonous, so... <laughs> oh! Let's it's just, good though let's because... Let's just stick to the path. <laughs> What's good about that? What's well, good? It's good because we're like so close to a city, so if anything happens... It's only five hours to run my tea. <laughs> I'll suck it out of you. Would you? Yeah. Oh, thanks. Thanks, that's love. Молодец! Вау! The scale of this place is absolutely incredible. So, so beautiful. And as we're going further and further down, the actual canyon's getting deeper and deeper and just, yeah, more and more beautiful for every corner that you turn around. It's absolutely stunning. So there was two options to go back up. Walking or getting a buhanka. And this one's a soft top buhanka, so how could we refuse? No, I see anything like that. It's great. No, it's... So cool! <laughs> Have fun, guys! <laughs> <laughs> Отлично.
one day we'll have a home to hang all the tickets and the things that we collect in <laughs> instead of just putting in our suitcases well, thankfully we didn't actually collect as many now no we made it back to the top and now we're heading to the viewpoint here and it should be even better because you can just overlook everything it's already incredible even from here yeah but... oh. it's gonna get even better <laughs> hopefully otherwise i'd be <laughs> fit gorgeous right absolutely amazing is it similar to the grand canyon or not yeah because you've actually been yeah it is a lot um, the actual canyon itself is really similar. Like I think the Grand Canyon is obviously a lot bigger, um, but yeah, it's just as stunning. And like the layers in the rocks, the colour of the rocks are all the same. And then said about the plant that grows here being the same as in the Grand Canyon, the guy didn't she? And uh, yeah, no, it's really really similar. It's like it's like they said, it's his little brother. That is absolutely stunning. So eerie. Beautiful. To be honest, we could have stayed and looked at that view forever, but for two reasons we can't. One is we've got 10 minutes until the bus goes <laughs> and it's like half a mile and the second is i think both of us are burning alive <laughs> we are really not made for this sort of weather absolutely not <laughs> i've been made to be in the snow <laughs> yes <laughs> a siberian and a brit are definitely not made for the sunshine is everyone on the bus i think so let's go <laughs> Вот это? Здравствуйте. As we head back towards Almaty, we wanted to finish by saying, over the last two days we've seen some incredible views and some absolutely mind-blowing scenery. But what made this trip truly special and unforgettable is people that we were with. It's on that note we want to return to the saying we mentioned at the beginning of this video. Travel is about those you meet along the way. Well, over these two days especially, this couldn't be more true. Thanks so much for watching this video and see you in the next one!